to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today is going to be completely different. My editor, Seth Poehler, and his friend Karis have decided to cook the hardest dish I've made, Beef Wellington. Please subscribe. Welcome back to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Except I'm not a lawyer, and this isn't my kitchen. Also, I can't cook. <laughs> Hi, so you don't know me. I'm the editor of Lawyer in the Kitchen. I do all of the uploading, editing, and fun transitions like this, and this, and this. So today we're gonna be following a Lawyer in the Kitchen uh, tutorial, and we're gonna see if we can make a Beef Wellington, which is one of the hardest videos he's done. So this is going to be not educational, but entertaining. So, so I hope you have a great time. Um, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's only going to take 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. So, in case you want to follow along with us, which I highly don't advise, I want to show you our ingredients today. So I went to the grocery store, and I'm awful at grocery shopping, so I kind of just mad grabbed because of social anxiety. So we have mustard, which I think we need. Um, I wrote my grocery list like a while ago for this episode, and it's taken us months to record it. So we have shallots. Thyme, prosciutto, garlic, sirloin tender steak. I don't think this is the right cut of meat. Beef tenderloin. And finally, puff pastry sheets. Uh, we need to do exactly what he's doing or else he's gonna go awfully. <laughs> step one was tie all the meat together, <laughs> but we don't have anything to tie it with. So step two was brown it in a skillet. So we're just gonna brown them all individually, I guess. We're just gonna go with that, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Just put them out of there. Here we go. Pile it on. Yeah. Oh, and pepper. Wow. I got pepper. A lot is happening. <laughs> he used tongs. Tongs are over there. Oh. Oh, look at that. Wait, I'm peppering. I'm oh, pepper. oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's enough. Oh, this is like only kind of cooked. Hold on. Audience. It looks tasty. It looks great. Yum. Yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. I wonder if it is on the tech. Let's hope we don't screw this up. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta make the duck cell. For the duck cell, it was mushrooms, what was it, a clove of garlic do and I have to peel this? Two what shallots. is this? It's a shallot. Do I peel it? I don't know. Alexa, will it hurt you to eat the outside of a shallot? Sorry, I don't know that. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay, so we gotta make the duck cell now, but I didn't get mushrooms at the store. Um, this is going to be a great adventure. Yep. Are we gonna, okay. Are we supposed to peel it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Add some salt. <laughs> That's fine. Is he lighting the wine on fire? Oh yeah, he's flambeing it. We can't do that! No, I'm not burning my house down. So the lawyer lit it on fire. We're both underage, so I think it's illegal to touch alcohol. That's not true at that. all. What if we take some creative liberty with this? What if it's cilantro? I'm gonna say this is done. Here in uh, Second Care's Kitchen, we like to declare things done. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tutorial? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Well, I have Dijon mustard. Oh, let's use that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Step 12. Put Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna. I'm here, here at Kara's Kitchen. We are fans of mustard. Look at how much mustard! <laughs> We've tried to arrange it in a sort of fashion. Well, not anymore. <laughs> so the next step is to space out the prosciutto out. I love how you pronounce that. Prosciutto. And. Right. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this essence. Look at this grace. What kind of meat is prosciutto? Um, it's pork. Yep, that looks beautiful. Great. Now we're gonna spread the yummy on there. Why do you keep calling it yummy? This is clearly <laughs> not going to be delicious. A symbol. Yummy line. Okay. Yep, and then we're gonna roll it. Roll it? Yeah, but not. Um, wait. Let's watch the video again. Okay. So. It was supposed to be on plastic that whole time. 
What if we just lay it over top, Cass? What if we just lay it over top and we flip it onto the counter? Okay. I'm gonna go for it, okay? You ready? Oh gosh, okay. Get another piece of saran. What are you doing? Cutting the saran so it's straight. Look at us, we're professionals. Mom won't film because she's having chips and sauce. <laughs> okay. Okay, next, we gotta put this in the fridge for 30 minutes and then we have to put the oven on something. 400. 400. Frigidaire. Oven where? Wait. Bake. Four hundred. Okay, we let it rest for 30 minutes in the refrigerator, and so now we gotta wrap it in the puff pastry. So first we're gonna put the puff pastry out on this. And then we're going to take Because we learned from the saran wrap. Yeah. Because that's what cooking is about. Learning. 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 Education. Getting better. Growing as a person. No. Okay. Ah! It's not connected. Um, that's okay. This is not going as planned. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so. Okay. Whoa, look at it. It looks so much better when you cover it in dough. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to make an egg wash to seal our thing close. Um, I've never made an egg wash before. I don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to smash an egg and see how it goes. All right, here we go. Oh, no, I broke it. I botched the egg wash. I messed it up, so now we just have to like dip out of the whites portion. It'll be fine. See, this is working fine. Okay, the tiger's going up. Oh, it looks like in his video. Oh my gosh, that looks so Okay, put good. it put it on that, you'll burn the counter. <laughs> okay, so here's yours. Yay, okay. I like up mine though. Ouch! You okay? Yeah. That was such a nice noise. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. What I like about this is like, look at the seam. That's so nice. It's so crunchy. Oh, oh my. We did it! <gasps> I'm gonna be honest, I went into this thinking that we were going to totally fail. But we, I, I haven't tried it yet. Let's not. <laughs> okay, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Yummy! We'll be back. The prosciutto, when you take out the steak, the prosciutto in the bread is very good. But we overcooked it, and it's probably the wrong cut. Well, thank you for coming to this episode of Lawyer in the Kitchen. It was a little unconventional, but next week we'll be back to our regular programming um, with a little bit of a aesthetic upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you back next week. Thanks.